You lazily wake up to the soothing sound of lapping waves. You slowly make your way out of your bamboo shack. And as is customary every morning, you carve another notch on the wooden door frame. There's over 500 now. You saunter onto the beach, where you're greeted by your best friend in the world. It's Dr. Coconuts, the monkey, and he's got a platter of fresh fruit prepared for you. You sit down and share in this sumptuous feast. But all of a sudden, you're disturbed. A noise overhead. My God, it's a plane. The first human contact you've seen since you were shipwrecked here. You grab a flaming torch and hurry to the signal pile you set up months ago. But as you go to ignite it, you hear a noise behind you and turn. It's Dr. Coconuts looking up at you forlornly. You know you could never take him back to civilization with you. Do you like the fire and leave all that you've built here behind? Or are you on a mystery quest? And welcome back, everybody, to Call of Cthulhu and the adventure, The Edge of Darkness. Previously on Mystery Quest, after making their way to the farming community of Ross's Corner and hearing the troubling news of a missing woman named Maggie McFurter, they set off to the accursed place where these horrors were conceived. It's now maybe kind of like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so the sun is still high, it's still like bright outside. But as you look at this kind of the building with these sagging shutters kind of covering the windows, um, behind them, it's there. They're like all cracked and like just covered in filth and grime. Like they look so dark inside. Mm -hmm. And there is something that almost feels like it's like pulling you towards this building. like. Mm -hmm. Like, this building is waiting for you to go inside. Um, and that it has been waiting for you for years. Is the sarcophagus in my pocket? Yeah, you still Maybe. have the sarcophagus. But I mean, is it emitting anything? Am I feeling anything? No, no, no. no okay. That's all, all totally, totally chill. Um, but around, um, around this um, farmhouse, uh, next door to it is like a big, big old barn. The mm -hmm. door ever so slightly ajar. There is an old well off to one side where the um, the rope hanging into it has rotted away years ago. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, you can kind of make out roughly like some flower beds and uh, things like that that maybe once would have been flower beds, but no longer mm. no longer are. Can someone give me a spot hidden roll? Oh, I love these. Uh, 89. 22. Three. Three. Yeah. Uh, so I think, like, as you're pottering around, um, you know, just idly kicking a kicking a stone or something, um, you come across the a dead raccoon, mm. um, and uh, it looks like it has been killed by something. Its chest is like all ripped open, um, and looks like it's been here for a couple of weeks, but it's like still like a ooh, unsettling sight. Give me a sanity roll on that. I also would probably film it. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> it's like B-roll. <laughs> I feel like Tom's like playing content warning and it's just, you <laughs> yeah. know, filming everything as he's like oh, going yeah, on this adventure. <laughs> uh, 85. Cool, um, you can just lose a point of sanity. Yeah. I'll just get like my little toolbox and ladder out of the car as I'm getting like ready parking up and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. you can 100% do that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, there is this like dead ripped open. Um, but yeah, I'd li I like that I'm filming the house. I'm looking at angles and then see the racket. Just trying to and, check, like, check oh the notes, Major, to see if uh, there's anything. They said they hid their ritual accoutrement somewhere, and I can't quite remember where they said they hid it. it would in, like, we probably should find that. I believe it's just hidden in the house. Uh, it, Alan went back in the morning to receive some of the belongings and store our ritual accoutrement. I guess it's just somewhere. in the house somewhere. But maybe we should check the barn first and mm. see, what, see what's going on in there. Hopefully he didn't toss it down the well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> typical Alan. Hey, Alan. Oh, I'll stall them down there in the well, will you, Alan? <laughs> well, I don't think we should be messing around too much. We should just get it on with it, you know. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't put off this. We should hey, get on with uh, it. After yes. you, Major. Well, okay then. Lead the way into the barn. It does say in this uh, letter you did it with the Rupert left us that uh, the method of delivering this thing out of the world is still in that accursed house. Uh, so, mm. I mean, maybe it's hidden around there, but... But it would be nice if they just left it on the front door or something. Honestly, you know, that would be very handy. People yeah. are never thoughtful like this no, nowadays. Uh, so, yeah, cool. You want to head to the barn? To the barn. 
cool. Um, yeah, like as you kind of like move uh, slightly around to the side of the house, you can see there's like a um, like a wood store that looks like it's collapsed and was once stacked high with wood, which is now half rotted or covered with mold. Like it's, this wood has seen 20, 30 years of no one has touched it. And yeah, this big barn, um, you can head on inside. It is dark in there. Um, like the roof, roof is held up pretty good. Um, and uh, if you want to have a good poke around, give me a spot Yeah, I'm going to light up on some matches and stuff. Well, I was about to I'm, say, I'm filming. Do I have a light with oh. me? Filming light. Do you? I, I haven't brought that up before. Roll me a like luck roll. Have. Roll me a luck roll. I'm a, see I'm if a you mobile have. film unit. I should He's be homeless, prepared. Tom. He's carrying I'm a everywhere. homeless man <laughs> who just has a load of filming equipment. <laughs> okay. And I've got a big bag full of filming equipment. Maybe I've got like um. It's a really cool big bag. It's as a cool well. bag. Um, I don't know. Maybe a flash or I don't know something. Forty-one. What am I rolling against? Uh, your luck. Seventy-seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have it. Have a. Yeah. You've got like a a big big kind of. Torch. Uh, I like, like 77 uh, on my spot hidden. So Ooh. Nothing, no. Okay, well, we'll get to that. So you will have a torch, um, but I guess, um, uh, Mr. Miggins, you've seen barns and stuff like this before, and you kind of like go barreling in there, um, and yeah, on that fail, uh, you have um, s like stuck your foot through like a floorboard and kind of tumbled ah, forwards and you take three points of damage as okay. you oh, really wrench your oh, ankle. Willie, no! Ah, oh, it's okay, Fanny, it's okay. Oh my, oh, my leg. And yeah, you crash onto the ground and there's like some broken glass Ooh. in here. Um, <laughs> and in my forehead. Is, <laughs> and that will help. <laughs> yeah, you just got like a, like a nasty scratch, like maybe your palm is kind mm -hmm. of cut open. And oh, what, watch yourself in here, everyone. It's a, a, a bit falling apart. Uh, yeah. You're falling oh. apart. Would you pull yourself together? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on, be careful. I shouldn't have carried this ladder in here. What was I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it was a real, <laughs> real difficult choice. But yeah, there's not like a ton going on in this barn. It looks like there's some really old farming equipment. Right. Um, all of it is super duper rusty, um, has just been exposed to the elements enough. Mm. Kind of like an old plow. There's a bunch of lumber, mm -hmm. stuff like that. There's a few tools that look like they've seen better days kind of like you know a, like a sledgehammer like a a pick or something along those lines but they're all fairly rotten so fairly... is there like any a storage cupboard or chest of anything or no, no like it looks pretty sparse that okay. potentially you would guess that even when um the merriweather owns this place they weren't really using this barn a lot like it just looks like it hasn't been touched in a long time. Hey, F Fanny, when did it say that they came back to hide the tools? Um, in eight, in seventy seven, in, in that same year of the whole oh, whole, okay. sh whole shindig went down. Yeah, I was wondering if there was like any like fresher looking floorboards or anything that maybe indicated they hid it under there or something. But yeah, I guess not. I think you look like you might have hit your head, Mister McGinnis. There's nothing in here. It's just a barn. Let's take you back to the car and get you bandaged uh, up, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. I shine yeah. I shine my light in the hole that. Mr. Miggins fell in just in case there's something under the floorboards. Maybe if there's hidden something down there. Uh, you can give me a spot spot hidden. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> you brave soul. 69. 69. Nice. Uh, you, uh, you can give me another um, sanity check. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 27. 27. Um, under here, you look down and there is kind of the skeletal form of a, like a dog under these floorboards oh God. and it has its chest has been like split wide open okay. um, and you've like got down there with your Can light we, and must, must a... like as you turn around like looking in this kind of like crawl space under this you just are face to face with this horrific form oh of uh, a dog that looks like it was hiding hiding under here and its chest has just has been cracked open. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'm, I'm, right. I've seen quite a lot of animals with their chests ripped open around the place. Mm. I've seen a raccoon over there. There's a dog under here. There's, there's... Did you film them both? You filmed them both, of course. Production value. Not going to miss out on that. I'm a bit unnerved by it, though, I must say. It's a little unsettling. Great for the movie, bad for my brain health. That's all I'm saying. It's a fine trade-off, Archie. Yes, For the is, art. Is true. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Oh, I wonder what's ripped over all these chests mm. and these horrible yeah. things. Like, we have a nosy round. 
like so if you want to if you're wondering about the animals you're welcome to look at them if you've got a natural world science natural medicine natural world was what I was going to go for and just I want to either look at the animals or look at the tracks that the animals have a, have like, a look just at, see what's kind of caused this weird this uh, weird form of death have a look at the animals I'm just going to really fucking look at the thing that's scary yay <laughs> uh, 23 that's a great success this day are really? on fire <laughs> uh, not no sorry it's a good the half success uh, okay, so if as you look at the raccoon, mm -hmm. um, you don't, you know, you're not able to work out as much from the the dog, the uh, under the barn, um, mm -hmm. as it looks like it's been dead for a long time, mm -hmm. um, and but it's definitely got like a smashed rib cage. Oh, so they've been dead for different amounts of time. The, yeah, um, okay. whereas this raccoon, um, which looks like it can't have been dead more than a, a, a week or two, um, okay. whatever I said. Um, its heart has been ripped out. Mm. Mm. I want a sanity check from you because the this wound is way too clean. 30, 34 is a good good roll. I'm currently 54. Uh, yeah, cool. No, you're fine. It's startling, but this wound is... It's all surgical? <laughs> it's not been done by a wild animal. Yeah. It's not something that has ripped or torn. It is uh, like being punched out of its chest yeah, yeah. or something is um, not what not normal not what things would look like yeah, yeah uh, sure. is not so good god this is very strange his hearts just seem to have popped right out of these poor creatures how bizarre I don't quite get it I mean I I also thought I thought the creature we were coming to look for was in the attic but it was safely locked away that's what Rupert said didn't he is is it it out the, here ripping out hearts. What is, are we doing here? Is it the creature that's doing it? I is don't it know. Just else? some weird, some weirdo from the village. <laughs> I, I find it a very strange coincidence that the lady should go missing so close to this place on such a day. Mm. Um, do, do, especially if our friend Rupert had passed away yesterday evening. Is he True. dead? But this, this, is he dead? this, this raccoon looks like it's been gone for weeks. So mm. something's going on with these animals, yes. I don't think Rupert's dead, though. Is you he? don't? No. Is he? Well, he might be dead by the time we finish the conversation. Oh, yeah, I yes, think we should probably is. get a yeah, minute. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally coughing his lungs inside yeah. out last time we saw him. Truly, yes. Yeah, yeah, like as you, you're having this conversation, yeah, you look up at the um, the attic of the house and the sort of like little uh, cracked kind of window up the top. Like it just, there's, it just looks evil can to I, you. Can I? You, zoom in? you oh God. can zoom in. Or oh, is there a window? Or is there something like? Is it yeah, something? yeah. There can be like a little window. Maybe uh, you can shine my light. I don't know. Insanity speed type thing. <laughs> from the from the outside, I, you won't be able to. You can't yeah. make any illumination because it's it's right. really it's lovely, beautiful. Um, yeah. Like day out here. I, I think I'm just like I. I know a lot about horror and stories and I am a bit scared and I think I just want to see before, because we're about to go in, I'm like, yeah. I just want to no, see this if is, I can... This is great found remedy. footage, but it's, <laughs> yeah. you like zoom in on this window, but it is just, just pinky black. black inside. I don't have a peek down the well or shall we keep I, putting I, this I, off? I, Give me the key, Mr. <laughs> Riggins. Let's go into this house and have a fumble around. Well, have you brought your well, elephant gun with you? I don't, I don't think I can wield it in there, do you? Well, why have you bought the bunny thing otherwise? Well, it's not like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ghoul well, lumbering we, around. We ain't gonna need... We're not gonna need a gun. It's just gonna be some local kids in there causing a bit of a ruckus. We're gonna... We're gonna get... even more reason to bring a gun? The, <laughs> shoot the kids. <laughs> All right, It's Major. the 1920s. I don't know why you're suddenly so shocked. Major, I feel like expedition leader, you lead the way, old friend. Well, yeah, it's okay. Over the top. Pass, him, pass me the key, Mr. Biggins. I'll yes. get all they have to show on the road. There you go, uh, so yeah, you head up to the, the front door and um, very obviously carved above it is some kind of symbol. Um, hanging next to it is like a, a gas lantern, like an old gas lantern. Oh, what are these? We used to have these in the desert. Well, um, and <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, it looks like the um, it has been out here for a long time. It needs more oil. It needs, needs more oil. A change of wick. <laughs> needs a change well, of wick. <laughs> I've uh, got some fuel. I don't know if that works. No, it's daytime. We're all right. <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. Give me that key. 
I'm going to use the key. I'm going to use the key. Yeah, so you, you slide the key into the lock. You um, crack open the door. And with like a high-pitched like shudder and a squeal, the door slowly judders open. And uh, yeah, you are met with like this weird, like weird smell of rotting meat. And off to one side, uh, on one of the windows, you can see above the window frame is a similar symbol is carved into that. And these look like they are carved deep into the wood. Um, Do we they, recognize the symbol from the book? I don't think you would, but it, you would not say it's a million miles right. away. Okay. Um, you wouldn't know the individual symbol, but yeah, yeah. it's a wacky symbol that you don't know what it sure, looks sure, like sure. and that you've seen loads of symbols in the book. Okay, cool. Um, mm. Sweetheart, is this kind of like maybe one of those en entrapment rune things that's keeping it yeah, maybe, stuck in yeah. the house? I, yeah, I don't know be. that occult stuff like you guys do, but it does look like the um, the ones from the mover from the movie, the little symbols. Mm, yes, but yes, the Ugo just similar. looks like symbols. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We should head inside. Yes. Uh, so as you're all going into the front room of this house, um, there is. Like an old, rotting, kind of two-seater sofa with a wing-back chair next to it, a small kind of coffee table um, beside them. Uh, like a larger um, kind of dining table with a bunch of seats around it, um, like a big cast iron fire, um, sort of like cooking stove um, with a little chimney that pokes out the wall. And um, there's a door that leads into the second room of this house. Um, next to that door is like an opening with a set of stairs that go down into a basement. Mm -hmm. um, give me a listen roll. Oh, I'm good at that. I'm good at that. Uh, just whoever's kind of like uh, the best, just hit me up. Cool. 34. Wow, you listened better. <laughs> mm. uh, you hear like a, like a scratching noise downstairs. Like a little, like ever so something moved like a creak of wood from underneath you oh that makes sense they, they must have like some rats or possums down there like probably do you think Willie? Really? I every think so every creature yeah. we've seen had his heart ripped out yeah <laughs> oh, you know maybe these small ones scurrying inside the walls think, the big well, scary monster can't get at them yes yes well, I didn't know that. do we know there was a downstairs I thought there was only an attic there's base basement by the looks of it Major pull some curtains open get some light in here it's all stuffy Without um, cleaning these windows, they are just caked in filth oh, okay. um, the, and like sort of uh, dirt and just mm. they've been exposed to the elements yeah, for a long time. Yeah. Basically, very little natural light is coming in here. It is oppressively cramped feeling because of how dark it is um, and uh, sort of how just musky the air is in this place. Okay, um, Mrs. Mr. Miggins. Uh Let's go and get that gas. Let's pop out. So just pop outside for a moment. Just I need a bit of air. Uh, 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 yeah, I think, I think you're right. We should, we should uh, like, like get some oil and oh. refill that. Yeah. Yeah, it's very oppressive in here. Archie, mm. come on, let's go downstairs. These old yeah. boys well, that, diddling I, around. Oh, I, I think while they're outside, I'm already just like sucked in by filming details. You're already like and, cameraman mode. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm sucked into just like the texture and all the, all the way it looks. And I'm thinking, oh, this is exciting for a movie. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. That's uh, and you're with me, I guess. And we're I'm walking like, around I'm filming. I'm just like, we have to get this thing done. Just, let's go downstairs. We'll, let's see what's going on down there. Give, give me another listen roll. Okay. I didn't hear it, so I'm not. No, but it's just... Um... 85 definitely didn't pass. Right. You say, come on, Archie, let's go downstairs. And he's just like, yes, yes, yes. And just filming. Yeah. And you did not listen to her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you... I'm just going, I'm going on downstairs. So it's like these creaky um, wooden wooden steps um, leading down um, into... Like, it is real, real dark in here. Mm -hmm. You can just, like, there's a tiny bit of light illuminating and um, it smells of kind of just like sort of uh, dust and dirt musk. Down, just musky just as you're about to make a step to the the bottom can you make me a dodge roll Mrs. Miggins, a 60-year-old lady, <laughs> died in a farmhouse last week <laughs> uh, actually not bad at dodging, 50 and I rolled oh 
86. Oh, no. 86. The age I won't be living to. <laughs> cool. Uh, you take five points of damage. Fuck. Um, That's half my health. Something uh, hits you <laughs> hard in the head. Um, you do I, do, do I pass out? That is half my health. That's half your health. Ooh. That is a severe injury. What is that called? Um, you can mark a box on your piece of paper for... Uh, ma uh, major wound? Major wound. Oh, you know him. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, nice. Nice. Major wound. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, my life. <laughs> um, something hard uh, clunks and knocks you to the ground. Would I hear this? Uh, give me a listen roll. Oh, God. Um, I think if you're outside, she's underground. 59. And I have listen 40. Yeah, you mm -hmm. don't hear. Like, she's down there. Um, you're outside. Mm -hmm. The mage is chatting away to you. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I'm next closest, but... Sure, give me another listen roll. See if you yeah. heard her heard her cry out. I think this one can be a straight straight roll. 57, no, didn't hear it. You don't even hear that. You're just filming away, and someone shoves you. Um, you get shunted over. Like, fall over. I've got a big heavy backpack on. Yeah, so I, I think you clatter, clatter to the floor um, as you're, like, filming filming in this place as something has barged into you. And uh, then Mr. Miggins and the Major, um, this guy holding a what looks like a table leg, um, comes running out of the building and just begins screaming and just starts running off into the distance. <laughs> God. Someone who did not come with you guys. Stop! <laughs> what the? Are, are you okay, sir? He's just like... <laughs> um, and is just hard running away. Oh, my God. Well, we rush back into the house. Get the elephant gun. Well, no, uh, we just no, we no, rush no, straight no. back into her. <laughs> 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 to check these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you see, Archie is um, kind of picking himself up off the floor, checking his camera equipment. Mm. Fanny, and... honey bun. What, like, am I, am I unconscious? What does my major wound mean? Uh, I think you've taken like a severe head injury. You probably are going to have a concussion, okay. um, and uh, basically, it means that if you go to zero health. Uh, you have a very good chance of dying. Oh, okay, no. cool. Um, so, I mean, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, but yeah, getting some first aid or medicine is probably a good idea yeah. at some point. But Willy, I need my Willy. Uh, I'm sprinting downstairs, probably trod over Archie, just yeah. straight down. Um, uh, honey, Willy, help me. Mm -hmm. I've been attacked. I'll like, scoop her up, carry her up outside. Yeah, you, uh, mm -hmm. you can take her upstairs um, and... Yeah, she is bleeding from this this mm -hmm. hot, nasty gash on her on her head. Shit. And get out my little They got my thinking side. <laughs> get out my little handkerchief, start dabbing it and stuff. Like maybe tie it around. Yeah, do you know first aid or anything like that? Uh I don't, but I can try. You're welcome to give it a go. I think you would try, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think I would try in this situation. Uh thirty one, I'm gonna use a luck because it says thirty percent. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so right. Is one luck. Um, you can heal a hit point. That's the hanky I wiped my cursed hands <laughs> Thank on. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> um, and it, he's managed to, to stem the bleeding with yeah, um, yeah. a combination of uh, just what he has on him. He's managed to like yeah. give you a rough bandage. Mm -hmm. um, you get my water out, pour it on the wind, wipe it off. I don't know what happened. Stuff. I just went downstairs mm -hmm. and something clanked me. Oh, that that bastard! I swear, he if was, I see him, he must have clanked you. Who was? Some, the, you, the the man, he just ran it's out of the building Where? and screamed. He had the table leg, he screamed. What? He was really tall. Did you see him, Major? You foolish old woman. Do you try and go down here to the dark <laughs> on your own? <laughs> I told you about this. I, I love how everyone else is a young lady and now I'm an old woman. <laughs> now, now, Major, don't you be talking to my well, family Major, like that. Well, Major, if you guys were so pathetic, I would be going in there alone. What are you doing outside lollygagging? Why are you throwing yourself into these situations? Get the well, elephant gun and get down in that piss. Everyone, one. we're tearing ourselves apart. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. Um, man, intense. That guy's long gone. Yeah, your head is sore, but not um, the right. end of the world. You're okay, Fanny. Are you okay? I'm not going to die, but it does hurt. It's bleeding. Blood is fine. 
It's fine. Do, do you want me to take you home? No, or thank go, you. Go, it's but, okay, oh, Woody. No, we, we can do this. It must be some sort of squatter or vagrant living in this space. Did you get a good look at him? What? No, did he you pushed me it? to the ground. I didn't even see him. I got a good look at it as it came running out the door, yeah. Is the camera all right? The camera's fine, more importantly, yes. (laughs) What did he look like, actually? So he was wearing, uh, like, a kind of red flannel um, sort of uh, shirt with, uh, like, britches and... Oh, my God, he was a Canadian. uh, (laughs) (laughs) And he had a Mounties hat (laughs) and a A Canadian flag. And a lumberjack hat. And he was riding a moose. (laughs) And he was playing ice hockey. (laughs) And he was eating poutine. And apologised as he ran away. (laughs) And he apologised. He was screaming apologies as he he left. Um, You didn't get the best look at him. um, But... uh, shabbily dressed okay. um but we'll find him in tim hortons but definitely <laughs> holding uh holding some kind of uh chair mm. Gerald taylor leg so there's already a man here so what was in here i don't quite understand what happened i was just going down the stairs and you just clobbered me are we all down in the basement now uh you can all go down into the basement well, let's i, I go, thought let's you were go, at the bottom let's of the go down. can you one of you get all these bleeding pistols or guns out and protect us please all right, all right, all right, Fanny. We're not going to get attacked again, am I? All right, I'm drawing, drawing my pistol just for, for, for hers. I don't for carry her safety, a weapon, but I'm not. But it's, I'm just the best. It's got the safety business. on and it's unloaded. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's good to know. I've just got a wrench. Okay, yeah. cool. And I'll just go at the back with a, a light and my camera, just filming over cool. the shoulders and lighting the way a little bit. <laughs> Uh, Tom's just on a film <laughs> yeah. I always love it. Just this amazing found footage movie. Yeah, that you're well, shooting. this is it. I wouldn't pass up that opportunity. Uh, so yeah, you head down into this kind of like uh, with the the torch. Um, a lot of this is like you know you're getting some fairly good illumination, mm-hmm. and it is this like hard, um, like packed dirt floor um, with kind of like basic brick walls like leading down this basement under the the building, and there's a lot of clutter in here. Um, like there's some um, some kind of crates with supplies, like a whole load of. Um, uh, just like lumber down in here, um, a what looks like a kind of workbench with some tools, a, a drill, a chisel, some uh, you know, like a vice to do some like basic handiwork around the place, saws, things like that, and like a big shelf uh, full of supplies. Um, these most look expired, uh, tins of dusty. You know, just um, preserved fruits and things like that. A few um, jars of pickled, pickled things. Like a beautiful um, sort of silver tea set that has been terribly tarnished um, just from being left down here for so long. And tins full of dried, dried tea leaves. Like the bottom of that shelf is covered in, like there must be two dozen bottles of um, spirits of like a few different like varieties. Um, like whiskey, port, rum, uh, you know, maybe even vodka or something like that. Like a lot of um, alcohol down here from before uh, prohibition was a thing. Um, and there is a like a, a broken table missing its leg, kind of on uh, like face down, and a few extra chairs in this place. And it's like big tarpaulin in the corner of the room. Uh, it's like big big bundle. I feel like that's basically I'll all. Left that tarp up. Uh, yeah, underneath this tarp is like this big, fairly ornate kind of traveling trunk um, that looks uh, fairly in fairly good condition um, under this like big, um, like wax coated mm-hmm. uh, okay. tarp type thing. Um, um, like a little, little mm-hmm. dusty on the outside, like, but actually you know, great. Dust off, see if there's a name engraved in the leather or anything, or anything like that. Like, mm. see if there's a, or some sort of. There image. is a name okay. on it, um, which is a. Uh, it says Marion, Marion Allen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I, I think I got something here. Um, then I'm gonna like unfasten it if I can and open it up. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's got like done up with like big, big buckles, um, and but you can easily get in there and the. The leather, which is kind of dried, kind of cracks a little bit as you pop it open. Mm-hmm. But um, it seems like it's been all very, very well preserved. Mm-hmm. And inside is, uh, you kind of like pull out, there's a lot of this black material in there, mm-hmm. um, which you so soon work out to be, it looks like robes. Robes mm-hmm. of this kind of um, 
strange, uh, you know, sort of velvety, um, felt like fabric, mm -hmm. um, which is very nice. Um, a uh, like this large cigar box, and um, there's also a, a bunch of um, sort of like yellowed, yellowed papers in there. I instantly can. pass the papers to you guys. <laughs> That's not my forte. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, maybe we gotta put these robes on. Maybe they're like part of the ritual or something. Uh, is that how that? I mean, that stuff makes sense works? to yes, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. also nice clothing. Yeah. yeah. Look great on camera. <laughs> yes, it will. Feels really nice, actually. Like so there's that, one of the more that, oh, hey, Major. I've been hit in the head. Why don't you take this one? You have a little look at it for me. Please, oh. sir, go on. Be a child. Oh my goodness. Well, this is all just nonsense. Really. I can't read any of this. What, is it a different language, Major? Or do you just can't understand the writing? I think it's in French. Oh, is look. It? Oh. That's one of these dear. foreign tongues. Oh, sp <laughs> What do you... I would just start reading it out. Go on, man. Go. Cool. Oh, spiritus vos per pontentian sapientian... Oh, no, maybe you shouldn't read it out. I start doing the hand symbols. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. oh my god, fucking dice roll. Man. Okay. You suppose this is the. Uh, this is Latin? Did anyone know? Hey, let me have a look at it then. So there are six copies of ah. that. Um, I see. You don't suppose it's the chant, do you? Oh, this could be the chart that we're looking for. That they did to, to to summon the beast, oh my and I goodness. guess maybe we have to do it to unsummon it. Well, it's um, trapped in the attic, right? Like we gotta get up there somehow. Yeah. Didn't they say they chanted for two hours or something? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, two hours. <laughs> Fuck this, then. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> um, yes. No, I do think so. Well, let's not make the assumption that the way to rem get rid of it is the same as the way to summon it. I mean, that, well, the, we, we don't just, want to summon them more of the buggers. True, actually. True, but we, if anything, we need to just ensure that the ritual circle is reinforced, right? That's what we're... At, least if we, at a bare minimum, we can stop the thing roaming. What did the journal say? Did it say the way to trap it is to do the same again, or just it's in the house? The method of delivering this thing out of this world is still in that accursed house. The translations made by Marion from the book. That's not the translation, is oh, it? There's oh. two other things that are in that sheaf uh, of he yellow. He likes doing chalk drawings. Yellow papers. <laughs> ah, <they're> quite artistic. <laughs> there you go. Go on, Major, have a look at this one. What have you got here? What does this one say? Oh, it looks like it's some journal of Marion Allen. Oh, Maybe there's some translations in that. It was written 23rd of March. Oh. 1876. 23rd of March. 23rd of March. So I don't know where that fits in a timeline. That's long after the, uh, the ritual took place. Yeah. About a week or half or so. Uh, looks like he's written the whole thing. Do you want to read it? Go mm. for it. I don't know why I'm putting this down on paper. It's probably a bad idea, but I feel the need to leave some kind of explanation for my actions and intent. When I took the sarcophagus from my uncle, I did not think it would be missed. I expected to be able to research it and return it later, but I was such a fool. Despite believing in the powers we tried to summon, I grossly misunderstood the consequences. Now Robert is dead and Harold a madman. I'm going back to the farmhouse to organize our things. I dread stepping foot again in that place, but I must make sure that our materials will be available again when we need them. Since the others are too shaken to attempt a banishment of the creature, I can only hope that the thing hasn't the power to remain in our reality more than a few hours or days. At least it's bound to the house itself. I shall search for a means to destroy it before the last of us passes from this world and it's released from the house, if it is still there. I believe I know where I can find the knowledge I need to drive the creature away without assistance from others. I hear tales of mystics in New Orleans that know much of the true magics of the world. I'm leaving the box in Rupert's care. I told him not to sell it or have it appraised by anyone and I did not tell him why. He also seems puzzled by my insistence not to live in Boston, but I believe he trusts my judgment not to put himself in danger unwittingly. My uncle does not know about our dark brotherhood, so Rupert and the others will be safe from anyone looking for it. I'll be back to put things right again. Yes, I write this before I close the lid on the trunk. The thing is still in the attic of the house. It seems to recognize me and spoke foul curses to me. 
I will carve protective wards on the trunk to prevent any tampering with its contents, just in case. Marion Allen. Very good. Well, that makes sense why it's kind of in good condition then. Yes. Well, I guess we have to do this bloody thing. Have we? Do we think we've got everything we need from in the trunks? Well, I, I've got a nice symbol that I suppose maybe that's the symbol that was talked about on the floor. It's a pentagram. We and some... do, we, do we need to make this thing back into amber and lock it in the sarcophagus? Is that what Alan's implying? I mean, that's why the box is still needed. It did come out of the amber, so that makes sense. Maybe somehow re reaffrate it back into mm. amber. I don't really understand. Possibly. Did any of you like a bite? Chalk at the store, like yeah. Maybe. I bought a yeah. box of children's chalk. Yes, <laughs> it has smiley faces on the end. <laughs> uh, with that um, other note that you have, can you give me a uh, translation, a Latin roll on this it? One. Yeah, sure. But the chant. Oh, twenty clean. That is twenty a, clean. That is um, half roll. Uh, you? No, you can translate it. Oh, oh you cool. can. Your Latin lessons kind of come they back. They finally, they finally come back to me. Being bonked on the head has actually <laughs> returned my, my my Latin translating skills. Uh, I believe they mean something along the lines of, uh, "Oh spirits, you I exercise by the power, wisdom, and virtue, by the divine knowledge, by the dark void, by the name of the old ones, the root, the trunk, source." and the origin of all other divine names, whence they all draw their power, uh, their life and power. Um, I exercise you by the name of Nyalavloftep. Mm. Nyalavloftep? Is that, I said that one right? That uh, is. Uh, signifying the most excellent bringer of wisdom, his majesty so high and brighter than the stars of the void, I exercise you by the most powerful name of Azafoth, the all-powerful shall punish the crimes. I exercise you and command you absolutely, O demon, in whatsoever part of the universe you may be, by the virtues of all these names, hear you and obey. Well, as you say Azapoth, and as you say Nyarlathotep, there is like, like a creak in the house. Both times, like, uh, all around us. the house kind of, maybe it's old, mm. but it is like a big, big heavy creak. Um, sorry to interrupt you. Um, nope. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't uh, re read that out, but uh, it is good to know. Well, it's, I want to share the information with everybody, otherwise, you know. Yes. Goodness, this chant sounds very powerful stuff. This is quite powerful stuff, isn't it? Yes, oh, goodness me, I'm... Should we uh, try all of us saying it while wearing the robes and standing Should in... Should we get into the robes then? Should we have a little... You, know, you want us to get you... into the robes? believe that now you have read that passage and seen this symbol you would know exactly you would have a far easier time navigating that book mm -hmm. um ah. do you vermis mysteries okay sure now you guys actually know what you would be looking for in there yes uh, uh, archie why don't actually no now my refreshing course of latin's come back to me by reading this all-powerful demonic chant oh yeah why don't we crack open the film, get the TV on upstairs, you know. A little movie night? little movie night. Yeah. A little movie night. Let's do yeah. it. Let's have, let's have a All movie right, I've got the projector movie. on my back. We can set something up. Okay. The, uh... Maybe we should just check the rest of the house out. Just, I mean, Well, we know the thing's in the bloody attic. I don't want to go up there. Well, should we, yeah, should we look at the attic hole just to see where it is? Are we doing the ritual in the attic? I think eventually we'll have to. Well, maybe we should just, you know. But I feel like if there's information in the book that might be... I just want to make sure we get everything out of the film before we lose the opportunity to... I don't want time to get away from us oh, and yes. us not to be able to check the film. You, if you, it suddenly says, don't wear red, the demon will eat you if you wear red. <laughs> It'd be nice to take off my socks, you know? Yes. You prepare yourself then. Um, okay, but I'm going to just have a quick peek in the attic and see if there's anything in there. <laughs> okay, you, I can hear and, it. you and Willie will have a peek in the attic and me and Archie will yeah. have a little, little, little scrub through the film. Because yeah. I just think we, we just, yeah, you know. Yeah, honey, yeah, you just, you stay safe out there, okay? And Do you stay safe? Uh, oh, yo, you stay safe. No, you stay no, safe. One of you is like the big bandaged head, the other one bandaged Hand and foot yeah. and ankle. No, you stay safe. No, you, you stay safe. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, so you head back upstairs, and that, so there is a second room to this, to this house. Like you've only been into the front room where you went down the stairs sure, into the basement. Yes. Um, going through into the second room, um, there is a large stone fireplace in here with a chimney that goes out of the um, the top of the building. Um, 
There is uh, like a like a, a kitchen table in here, and uh, what looks like some camping gear. Like mm. there's a like a sleeping bag and a sort of bindle type thing. Um, there are some scant embers in the fire of maybe a fire that was made last night. Um, or still there, a half-eaten tin of pork and beans lays on the ground with a uh, like a tin spoon. Um, if anyone wants to give me a really good spot hidden or something. Go on then. Nope. 91. <laughs> I wrote 91 as well. Wait, wait, these 71. rolls have been atrocious. These are the wow. worst rolls I've ever can seen. I, can I push a spot hidden? Is that a thing you can do? Mm. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Like you really poke around. Uh, sixty-six. That's a, is that a fail? Uh, oh, I, can I use luck if I use push? Push. So I don't know if you can. I think I don't um, think you can. But I mean, it's for, but for this for one, the, for I will, it, I will, right? I will let you use right. it because I'll, I'll use six uh, luck then to make that a success. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, you, you would infer this. It belongs to a vagrant. Um, and it looks like it was abandoned in haste. They were disturbed. And that's from this scene, you can mm -hmm. piece together how the, the, the can is on the ground and the contents are spilled out. It's still wet. The tin just, the, the, the spoon just kind of flung to one side. Um, this person did not leave this neatly. Um, do you think there was a disturbance that happened here? May uh, explain the gentleman that was downstairs. Yes. Mm. Um, so the back, there is a back door to this building as well, and it is ever so slightly ajar with some kind of fresher, muddy footprints have come in from mm. the outside. There is also a hatch up into the attic in this room as well. Um, you know what so I like think? Directly in the middle of the room. Maybe this was the farmhand and. You know, they maybe came here to fall around away from mm. her husband. Maybe, yes. Yeah. And then they got spooked. Well, when we drove up and then they clobbered me with a bloody bit of table. I'll tell you if I find that farmhand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, not going to be good for him. Okay, well, do you guys want to go to the attic while we have a little movie night? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, let's just have a little listen at the door, first of all. <laughs> you At the hatch. Is it hatched like in the middle of the room? In the ceiling? It's in the middle of the ceiling. Like it will be hard work for you to reach. I've got um, the ladder, but with a ladder, you hundred <laughs> percent can. Look at this you guy. super duper can get up there. So yeah, you bring no, out no, the, the ladder, Major. I'm not too good at heights, so I, you know, if you climb it, I'll put my feet at the bottom and hold it for you, so you can get up there safely. You won't fall off or anything. It'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah, your powers combined. We're yeah. such I geriatrics. Mean, sure. Sure. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, sure. I, 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 with, my, with my hand and stuff, I, fall, I, I don't sure. want to be holding on to the... Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We're just yes. doing fine. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you set up this ladder. Um, mm -hmm. Works super duper well. You climb up. Because it must be sort of uh, eight, nine, ten feet above you. Okay. Um, and uh, probably not that high. Maybe like eight feet mm -hmm. above. And... Uh, yeah, this hatch, like this heavy kind of like old hatch, um, you can sort of like poke up and poke your head through, and it is it is even darker in here than um, downstairs, where at least downstairs you had the sort of the open doors um, to give some illumination. It is almost entirely pitch black, <laughs> um, and it's dark up there. <laughs> what do you see, Major? I, it's very dark, very dark. We need that lantern, actually. Pass or... the lantern up, pass the lantern. He's saying it's dark. Archie, pass the lantern up. Sure thing, you can have my, my torch. Here you go. <laughs> pass it up, pass it up, Mr. Yep. McGinn's. Yep, hold it up for you. Okay, you slowly, slowly swing. Um, swing this around. And there is like kind of just broken junk up here until uh, you kind of like catch, like catch a glimpse of something. You can't quite tell what it is it looks like some like dirt or something some dust is falling down from the ceiling um just like these like little dust motes and then you just hear like a dun, 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 as this noise just gets closer and closer 
This thing charges me. I want a dodge roll out of you. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> 22. Oh, he's so nimble. Is that a dodge? That's a half dodge. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, I'm still going to have you take one point of damage as you basically drop yourself off, the off of this ladder. Um, mm -hmm. Landing kind of like awkwardly. Uh, yeah, I'll try to catch you a little bit. Yeah. Bloody hell! There's something up there! And yeah, the door snaps shut. And. Well, I wasn't expecting that! What kind of crackhead cr cr came with the right of my life? <laughs> what, what did you what did you see? Was it like a rob, like rabbit animal or I can get a chance, it's just I heard it coming and I just just got out of there. There's another vagrant of a table leg. Oh. Goodness me! I will um, happily take a sanity roll on that though. If you want to do one of those. Is anyone up there? Hello. 43. I'm fine. Chilling. 43. Uh, you, can still, you can still take one point of sanity okay. loss because you... Oh, that was shit. I saw something. I got a glimpse of something. It was something that came at you, but it, you were shining the light right on it. Goodness it, me. Did, did we all hear the bang, 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 bang? Yeah, you all heard a... You know, like someone running on thin mm. floorboards, like directly above your head, just. Do, 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 so do. I think I got my gun out at that point, and like, just ready and. Who's scared. up there? There's no. There's no. Nothing. Reply. No. Um. Is the hatch now closed? Yeah, yeah. The hatch, like, um, yep. yeah. You got to, you got to lift shot. it to get up in there, yeah. um, and it is thunked okay. back down. Okay. Now, what we used to do back in the. Uh, <laughs> Back in the. Uh, <laughs> if you get a young boy, we send them in first. <laughs> and the officer will stand behind and say, go, go, go. <laughs> well, well there, 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 this was back in the South African. Back in the Boer War. Mm. When some um, tribal types were holed up in a hut, we'd, mm. we'd, we'd, we'd smash the window and we'd, um, you know, smoke them out. Okay. Maybe. So maybe we can get the ladder. We can go outside and have a peek in. And I can maybe get the old. The, the boomstick, you know, and give him a, give, give, shoo him out of here. Okay, I mean, I can hold the ladder for you again now. But outside. I mean, I'm just proposing an option. I, oh, no. We, we don't know what what's up there, but that's my friend. I'm pretty sold, honestly, Major, on this demony thing being up there. I don't know if smoke's going to do much for that. Um, I mean, really, what I want to do is go through this, this footage <laughs> with this you. Film. We need to watch this film and again. And try and figure out what's going on. Yes, I agree. Major, you can carry on do whatever you like, but I want I want to go through it with Mrs. Miggins and her, her Latin okay, skills. Okay, well let's do let's do your thing then. We tried my thing, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we could have a go at your thing. We can kind of split the party a little bit here, yeah. where um, Mrs. Miggins and Archie. I think it will take you maybe like an hour to go through and gleam all of this info, and um, whereas. Uh, Willie and uh, the Major, you can be doing something else during this process, but mm. um, it's just going to take you a bit of time to flick through until you find the sure. that mm -hmm. right symbol, and then it'll be a process of just like reading the information yeah. around yeah. it. But we're going through like frame by frame. So yeah. yeah. And the old frame is like a jump scare on like, yeah. the demon oh, face. You know, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> you know, Major, maybe we should like follow those muddy footprints that the person who ran off with the beans, you know, maybe there's something about that. There's the creature in the woods or something could be could be related. Um, I'll, I'll also add, um, when you unpacked the chest downstairs, you found the robes, you found the sheaths of paper, you also found this cigar box that um, oh, yeah. I don't think you guys have gone through yet. Let's open that as a group first then. So in this cigar box is a metal like tin um, containing some kind of like brown powder. Okay. Um, and there's also this kind of like silver box um, containing this kind of like what almost looks like graphite or something. This like really silvery, like almost like talcum powder consistency. That uh, if you touch it, it really it's really like it really covers your skin. It's really mm -hmm. like almost like, this like oily yeah. feeling, but it is like touching a piece of coal. Like it mm -hmm. just gets in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe this is like a, one of the, those spell reagents or something for the ritual. Like I, I don't know what to do with this stuff. Do you? Don't look at me. Yes, I believe actually. Looking back on um the diary from Rupert, 
Uh, he did say, it spoke then. Alan cast the damn powder, the gin, the dust of Ivan Gadzi, he called it. And that's when we could see it all clearly. So maybe it's something to do with making the apparition visible. Ah, yes. Like the Invisible Man, the movie. Yes, oh, uh, my famous book. I had one as well. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that is a, yeah, a solid thing. You just looking at how this works, like you maybe have used a a, a plot line like this in one no, of your books. it's just like in my famous book, The Invisible Invis Invasion of Imaginary Friends. <laughs> they used a similar, they used chalk, but, you know, maybe this dust of Ngazi is also similar. But, yeah, seeing how this, like, reacts to someone, and you do not recognize this substance at all. Mm. But yes, that link you 100% put together, the, cool. that feels like, oh, they're referring to a powder that they put on this thing and they could see it. And they've left it in the box, like... Yes, well, you 100% have ID'd that out. I think you should out. keep hold of that, William. You know, if this you, creature yeah, comes at you, us again, you need to cover that thing in this you, dust. You, you can chant and you can roll the camera and you have the boomstick so I can f throw this dust on the creature if we think we know where it is. That'd yes. be great. Sounds wonderful. Okay. Very good. Okay. I mean, Ooh. it does then go on to say, just to remind you, words cannot describe the faceless thing with the thousand... Well, it doesn't sound like it's going to be fun when we do throw the dust on it. So just, to, just to remind everybody, yeah. it's not going to be good. <laughs> so I, maybe I should throw it and look away? Yeah, like, throw it and yeah. look away. Yeah. And then we're going to have to look as... No, you oh, should look God. as... Oh, well. God. That reminds me... Like, literally, I like, saw this quote the other day. There's, like, a great line in the Call of Cthulhu rulebook which just says like looking away will not save your life <laughs> uh, I was like how oh, fuck yeah. that's a good line I think it will look at you I mm. think um... Willie and Major you've got like an hour to kill while these guys are going through the camera footage um, is there anything that you particularly want to do in this time um, when you, you said there's a different st set of footprints that went out a back door you have outside of the building itself it's in like a fair bit of a clearing the uh you know trees aren't growing but there's a few like bushes and it's all heavily overgrown beyond that is um like woodland and it just sort of heads off in that direction if you can give me a hard tracking roll tracking then maybe i can give you some more information and 50. Oh, is that, that's five, isn't it? Oh, it's a five. A five. five. Yeah. That's that's insane roll. from the 10%. Uh, okay. That's an insane roll. Yeah, but... yeah, Willie, you are following on these tracks and they kind of just um, just disappear at some point. You are like a bit further away from the house. You're kind of near the tree line now. And... You've lost the tracks. The grass is too long, like they've disappeared. Um, as you just turn to return to the house, you know, you've been just like walking around, beautiful daylight for about sort of 10, 15 minutes. Um, there is the body of a woman um, on the ground in front of you. Uh, you completely missed her. She's just sort of like amongst mm -hmm. these like big grassy outcrops. Mm -hmm. um, but this absolutely blood, blood covered woman is lying there with a face of absolute terror and she has this just hole in her chest and oh goodness me oh, well, give, does it match the description of give me a um, sanity roll first of all because I don't know how familiar you are with bodies 42 is that a pass? Uh, that is a pass yeah I have okay. 68 sanity cool you could lose just one on sanity from that okay um, you let out like a oh, oh god yeah um, just a Oh dear, oh, oh man, somebody, major, uh, anyone? I just shout out, like, we got a major wound! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty major wound. Yeah, does she match the description the priest gave me? You, yeah, she's like um, more slender, uh, longer hair, and he didn't um, describe the woman as having a hole in her chest. Of course, so yeah. maybe not identical to his uh -huh. description, but is, fairly. Is she holding anyth anything, like, upon further inspection? No, no, no. no. Um, like nearby, there looks like a, a sort of a, a pail that would have some kind of animal feed in it or something mm -hmm. like that. But no, just, she didn't have anything particular on her. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick up her body and carry it back to the house. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the realists of the same room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, so Willie had like left. 
20 minutes later, he just turns up with a body. Just, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I found the poor girl. That, that fucking farmhand must have done this to her. Something. I'm making tea in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we, have, we, got, we got to tell the police when they're open on Sunday. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you have now have a dead body in this I'll, I'll room. I'll just like, lay it down by the side of the house. This must be Maggie McFurter, the missing girl. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I think so. She must have... Oh, God, God damn maybe shame. you were right on the idea that she was having a... A fling with this farmhand fellow who's been living here. Maybe they were having a tryst mm. in this ready, ready farmhouse. And we're now in. That's <laughs> 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 such a ter- um, terrible, terrible I thing. Do you want sanity rolls from anyone else of are we, seeing are we this doing body? This? Or is it just in a kitchen with you? Are we like in the lounge? She's I feel, really dead. I feel like it, I feel like if Willie announced, we, "Oh, there's we, a dead yeah, body," I'd right. be like, I would be like deep in my doing the thing. I'm like, "Oh, Willie, no." To put, to put it down, come on. And I, would, I wouldn't turn around. I'd like, I know what the de- a dead body's going to look like. I was like, I'm yeah, already say, deep yeah. in, like, right, yeah, doing yeah. some pretty fucked up probably, shit. I'd like, probably shout the major out outside. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you call him out and just gaze. Uh, can I get a She's sand, sand roll? Let's cover her up with this top <laughs> on. checks her. She's dead. Yeah. 52. I'm okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, um, we'll get the tarp from the basement. So lose one anyway. Yeah, you can lose uh, one. Just yeah. Very tasteful. Looks like, looks yeah. like she's dead. <laughs> yeah, these, this wound looks very similar to... Dead. I've seen a couple dead bodies. Yeah. I've seen a couple of live ones, and this one is certainly dead. Doesn't look like she has a heart. Is it, yeah. is it like <laughs> chest ripped open, or is it like clean It's heart? kind of like a punch into the, the yeah, chest. Okay. Like, the wound is way too clean, okay. and under closer inspection, she is missing her heart. Like, it is gone. Okay. Um, and this is very, very similar to the other wounds. So, normally... You might not have lost your sanity seeing this, but I think just seeing a wound like this okay. on the body well, is pretty Well, I'm just going to pop up. back to the car and uh, get my gun and my, my bullets. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Don't worry. It's a very normal reaction. Yeah. Uh, be, be careful, because that, uh, that's the direction that freak with the table leg ran. Oh, don't worry about that. You know, I'm just... Uh, Thumbing, thumbing <laughs> my pistol. <laughs> oh, he's, okay, right. I'm yeah. glad it's now loaded. Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, nice. So I'm going to say it is now about um, five o'clock, mm-hmm. and um, using the the symbols and the translation that you have to be able to work out, um, kind of roughly what you are looking at in yeah. uh, the Vermis Mysteries, the ritual it takes at least an hour to perform. Ugh. <laughs> Archie's so soon <laughs> brain that he's, that he's a man in the 1920s. Uh, it has to be started at midnight. Uh-huh. Um, one person must always be chanting. Uh, one person draws the pentagram on the floor. One person burns the chemical mixture that resembles a brown powder. Okay. Several people should be allowed to take part, as it allows individuals to interrupt their chanting without disturbing the ritual. I see, okay. Um, if the chant is continuous, the spirit must succumb, and uh, even the slightest disruption may result in failure and will have to be attempted on another midnight. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, an entirely different day. A watcher... Uh, should be posted lest the sorcerers be disturbed by nuisances and distractions from malevolent spirits. And it confirms that a two-hour ritual begun at midnight will definitely Mm -hmm. banish any unwanted spirits. Does it say anything about a moon? Because I know they did it under a new moon. Harry, you know what? What? Tonight is a new moon. You know that today is the day okay a new moon cool um so also because you have this um this copy of this book it goes into more detail and that minor breaks in the chanting does not definitely end it um but each person is giving up part of their essence to be able to perform this ritual. Okay. Um, but the l- bigger a break, the more likely a chance that this whole thing can fail. Um, but the more people that take part, the better it is. Sure. Um, and 
the spirit is going to fight against this as it does not want to leave. Mm -hmm. does, it, is, does it say anything about how it will fight it? Uh, no, it just says it will be fighting against you. It will be it, resisting. Does it mention the dust of Emgazi? Um, that, I believe, is the brown powder that it referenced needs to be burnt. Oh, burning, there was yeah. one you burned. There was a brown powder that burned, but then there was the other powder, mm, right? That was that's like the, the blowy the, one, though, wasn't it? You uh, blow it on. Give me a library use roll. Um, oh, come. I'm going to push it. I rolled an 81. That's a scary push. I'll let, I'll let you push I'm it with this, uh, with this, watching this film. Yeah, 57. I, I'm 70. Cool. Um, okay, so the Dust of Umgazi is mentioned elsewhere in the book, mm. and it is a um, like an ancient um, alchemical mixture um, where it will reveal the world unseen. And do I think that that dust that we have is that? You... you Already from your idea that you had, you would assume that this is the dust of Ngazi cool. and that yes, it reveals things oh, unseen. I hope so. Um and the we're we not just putting some old bit of black corn flour in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> or should we make a delicious demon cake? Just cocaine. <laughs> it's just we're just pouring cocaine on the demon. <laughs> but the there is a tin of Biscuits. other oh. other powder in the <laughs> Um, those in that cigar case, um, sort okay. of like a another uh, tin of powder. Well, like, there was a tin of brown powder. If anyone knows mm. chemistry, um, you are welcome <laughs> to. Archie, any chemistry? No, no, no. no chemistry. Cool. You think this is? Uh, oh God. Okay, well that's gonna make. <laughs> that was the ritual. <laughs> that's the ritual. The ritual is fucked. Yeah. Tom just ripped the paper. <laughs> just ripped it in half. Okay, well that's gonna make this a load more fun to. What's that, to, what's that to like do? outside? Like right now, is it getting dark? Oh, it's still lovely, lovely summer's day. Okay. Um, the sun doesn't set until maybe like eight, eight p.m., nine p.m., something like that. Okay. But here you go. You can have just my notes on what is oh. required for the ritual. Um, Thank you for texture. It's aged. It's down, aged. It's been aged down the middle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on a pure mechanical thing, I was not going to give you all of the intel. Sure. At all. But I feel like you guys have absolutely solved my workout about oh, what's going on with the ritual puzzle okay. because the fact that you've got a copy, the fact that you're going through um, this stuff. You're quite diligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do want sanity rolls from the two of you again yeah. because oh, watching this film is really bad. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Shit. Six, six, I failed 67. I felt I got 74. And oh I'm my 69. god, you guys are. Ah, oh, one. One, <laughs> one sanity. Yes, good. Like, you guys are losing D6 sanity every time you look at this book. Um, although. <laughs> Tom love it. <laughs> I'm going to say both of you can have. Like, me and Archie. Uh, yes, um, both uh, Mrs. Miggins and Archie. You can both add three to your Cthulhu mythos mm, as a okay. skill. Um, so normally, that is a skill. It is a skill that you can never normally put points into. Um, it is something that you get by being um, exposed to mythos, reading tomes. Generally, you are losing sanity. Yeah. Um, the more, the higher your Cthulhu mythos is generally really bad. Um, okay. It gives you intel, well, we're, but yeah, it's it Learning hard. to actually see the thing that you're looking at is worse because you're going to go more insane. Yeah, you lose a lot of a lot of brain. The sun's going to go down in like an hour. Okay. You've got a good four or five hours before midnight, and so you can 100% strategize amongst yourselves on what you want to do. Okay, gang, we're on the edge of darkness now. Nice! <laughs> nice! He did it! He wins! He wins, everybody! Yeah! <laughs> I won't get fooled again. <laughs> you piece of shit. Wow. Love it. Congratulations. I, I've been waiting for that all day. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, this is why you've been so quiet this yeah. whole game, just like, edge of darkness time, edge yeah, yeah, of darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all he's written down. Down. He's just, he's written it. <laughs> All of your notes. So, so I can say, um... <laughs> No, that's so good. Congratulations. There you go. Thanks. You earn one experience point. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you think we should, like, handle this? Like, well, you know, I... you, you, you should do the chanting, I think, honey. And Well, I don't think I'm in no state to try and stop whatever this demon is. I really need to just be focusing on probably doing the chanting. Are you okay, Miss Miggins? Do you need... Do we need to I'm take... going a little bit fucking insane! <laughs> do we need to take you to a hospital? You have banged your head very badly. No, I think I'll be okay, but I, I don't think I can take much more of a scrape. Mm. Yeah, well, Major, okay. you you got those firearms, right? You can, you can be the watcher. You can, like, help 
defend us. Yes, well, that seems like a job perfectly suited to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does say a few of us should be chanting just so that we can take well, breaks I think and stuff. Well, so while they chant. have the opportunity. I mean, I will absolutely say... But I will not stop chant. chanting yeah. no matter what. You're the uh, chant. Yeah, I, will, I will keep chanting as well, you know, but, you know, I might have to read the passage a couple of times, but I can get it in my head. And what are the other things we have so, to somebody do? Somebody else needs to obviously draw the pentagram. I'll take that, sure. Nice, we could, very good. And one person needs to burn the chemical mixture that reserves the brown powder. So we need to also prepare ourselves a little fire and maybe the fireplace in the living room. I can mm. be the powder man. I've already got the the dust of Imgazu or whatever. And, yeah, okay. You know, we got the the burning powder. Yeah, you I got the burn burning that. powder and the Seymour powder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, and, do, we, do we have to perform the ritual in the attic? So I think we can perform it wherever. It doesn't really say. So I think we could we have performed it back home. Is it so long? <laughs> as it's, maybe so long as it's in the house. Maybe? I think we just. I think we're okay like to do it in the living room. Okay. Um, and we probably you should probably be watching the fucking attic hatch. I think that thing's going to come right through, right, and come and try and stop us. But I think I think we do it fine to do it here. I don't see why we need to go to the attic. Is there any benefit playing the film of the book on loop? In the background, for some reason. Oh, is that, is I that, don't know if that would be very. I mean, dead. having the page open might be good if I need to check a note during it right, or something. Yes. So maybe just you like know, get it ready on that bit so we can sure. flick it on if uh, we need. Do you, it. you think there's any chance the priest might want to join us for this ritual? I think don't think we left him on great terms. No, to be I don't think so. But you know, we got a couple hours. I imagine to kill. he's just like lying in bed sweating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think I think maybe. I mean, do we want to? Major, it's not really my wheelhouse, but. Set up any traps or something to try and protect us. I mean, I'm also worried about this blasted guy with a table leg coming back more than the demon. Very good mm. point. I'll set up some uh, basic. Tra- I don't know. No, no, I yes. should be up to jungle spike traps and all that sort of thing. <laughs> I could rig up some basic alarms I mean, for us. It hasn't happened alert yet. Us in case someone was to come to the front door, the a back couple, door. Yes, yes, I it, love that. Yes, let's really, let's really <laughs> Vietnam this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't happened yet, but you know, <laughs> something to that type. <laughs> There was a bucket out by the body of that poor woman that we could, like, you know, fill with grain. Oh, Maybe yes, could... I saw in one of your one of your films. Uh, yeah. There was a boy. He got left alone in a house. Yes. Yeah. His yeah. parents went away. Yeah. Yeah. Lonely home. And he, yes. you know, and they, yes. he had a big paint bucket yes. on a string. Yes, yes. And, that was um, it. And yes. balanced yes. things on the... Uh, heated up a doorknob, I that remember, with exactly. a blowtorch. You've got a good memory yes, there, there, Major. a super character with tiny hands, a very blonde hair and yeah. an orange face. Yeah. Yes, I remember yeah. him and as well. And you got that rope as well at the shop. So if I go and grab the bucket and we get the rope, then we can create a trap system for this guy. I think we okay. can pick something up mm-hmm. in time and meanwhile it could be plenty of time to polish the old elephant gun and you know, load that thing, yeah. point it up at the yeah. point it up at the Major, hatch. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like a euphemism. <laughs> and then I'll get the elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well this this is all sounding absolutely fantastic. So in the sort of like kitchen area mm. is where this big um, stone fireplace is. Amazing. And there's probably more floor space in here. Um, I'm going to start just taking like bits of chairs and just like, yeah, throwing start, them in and just, it's, yeah. it's not like a big job, but I'll just start putting the bits in that we'll need for a fire. So there's a, a ton of um, planks of wood down in the basement mm-hmm. um, as well. Oh, lumber, yeah. Like all of that stuff mm-hmm. is very usable. There was some out in the barn, but um, is rotted. a little bit more rotten. We bought logs um, from the shop. Also, yes. you did actually buy logs, so yeah, you did mm-hmm. bring firewood with you. Oh, actually, do you want to put the the, the uh, scofficus down? Because I think it's going to go into the yeah. scofficus. Well, so we, I, I the usually, I the we don't have the amber, do we? Well, I think that's going to re form oh, hopefully. Oh. I had my viewfinder in there. I wonder if we could capture him inside I my viewfinder. I probably viewfinder. would not use that anymore. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> what if it was, like, in the amber, and then, like, when we do the ritual, it yeah, goes back in. back in or something? Maybe that's what, I, think, I think that's what maybe what the brown powder is. It's going to re form it. I don't know, but it might be useful. We don't want to have it, you know, in the car when sure. we time. I put, the, I put this coffee scan as I draw the pentagram. I think you need to draw it while we're doing the. I'm rubbing oh, okay. it out. I need to draw it right. while we're doing uh, the ritual, what? I think. Okay. Is <laughs> how it works. All right. From my understanding. Yeah. So some time is passing. You guys are. You've cleared out this room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've gone and retrieved this bucket. Um, you've brought in a bunch of other supplies and stuff into the, the building. And Major, you're setting traps. <laughs> I <laughs> love this because when you're like, oh, I really want to take jungle survival skills was like how are you how are you <laughs> this this is never gonna come yes. up in the game it's so yes. specific and now i'm like oh uh, okay we were doing the couch sheet and tom just looked at me i was like well i spent time with the <laughs> i love it uh, okay. 100 yeah give me a little description of um what what's you, being rigged up yeah like what you're doing you've got a good couple of hours um uh, so what we've got is we've got a giant log <laughs> on a swinging rope. 
<laughs> just, just a, a big bit of door. timber. <laughs> just a big bit of They're timber. in the woods at the back. Swings. Yeah, we can grab a log from the woods. Now, what I've got, I've got is... I've got 50 um, foot of rope, by the way. Uh, what I've got is... There's a little... Oh, when you step on the doormat... Okay, I've rigged it. So you step on the doormat, the front door, and the rope will close around your ankles and yoink you up into the air. Okay, like great. Like yeah. classic, classic yeah. I love that. And then the back door is, um, it's again a doormat related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because time, famously in the jungle, yeah. <laughs> all traps are deployed under doormats. <laughs> well, it's kind of like a, like a leafy undergrowth, yeah. I guess. Okay, right? okay, like, okay, yeah. No, I yeah. like the major deploying <laughs> to the jungle with 50 doormats in his backpack. <laughs> the doormat pan is a classic. Yeah, because you're going to have dirty, dirty boots, yeah, yeah, right? Dirty and so you're going to want jungle. to wipe them off and like, oh, oh no, it was a trap. Your tent, you know, don't want to trap. Old mud into your tent. Okay. So no, uh, under the uh, doormat at the back door, I've got it's all greased up with the lard from earlier. Ah. <laughs> so <laughs> old lard. That's another <laughs> famous jungle trip. <laughs> so wow, you're under the slippy floor. <laughs> so when they step on it, it will slip out from under them and they'll fall over. <laughs> okay, right. We had hours to yeah. make <laughs> the most dangerous traps in the world, and you created two of the I don't it's <laughs> loony it's trip. trip. It's fucking perfect. Um, Whatever. Great. Can you give me a? Jungle. Actually, no. We'll wait for them if they are going to ah, get yes. triggered, so <laughs> then see, see how see good how they are. are. Um, no, that is that is great. So time is time is passing. Um, you're getting all this stuff set up, basically um, fairly good to go, and the the sun goes down. Um, you are now past the edge of darkness. <laughs> it is now darkness outside, and. You hear a like a scrabbling around upstairs in the attic, and then this like whoosh of wind and like a high pitched squeal or scream that sounds like it has flown out of the attic and has gone off into the woods. You then hear someone screaming, which is very abruptly just cut off. And that concludes this episode of Mystery Quest. My god, the investigators are getting closer and closer to solving this mystery. Have you? I really hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you are, please leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what you think might be going on. Um, and all of that kind of engagement really helps us out and makes more people be able to discover us. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.